Hello, so today I'm going to teach you how to image trace, which is really an amazing tool in order to be able to play around with shapes and alter shapes that are not made in Illustrator. For this particular effort, I have made these shapes in Illustrator, then I put them in Photoshop, and then I brought them back into Illustrator um, in order to be able to add the color. I put them in Photoshop and then I add the color. Why did I do that? Because creating each, in order for me to be able to color it, this would have to be a shape. This would have to be a shape. So because I have lines here and they're not necessarily connected to it, in Photoshop it allows me, it reads it in a way that I can just click and paint bucket, whereas in Illustrator I have to have it as a shape. At least that's how I know it so far. But we're going to go to Live Trace, and I'm going to show you how to play it. Now, right now, if you can see, I this is all one. Since I have cut and pasted all of this and then colored it, this is all one thing. Whereas here, let's move on. To, these are all individual shapes, but you still have these little uh, swatches that I would like to get rid of. In order so that I can make it into the actual in the transport it into the cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to window. I'm going to go to image trace and I'm going to go to preview and see what's up and see what happens. It says note to reduce the image size, rasterize to a lower resolution using object rasterize. Okay, but I don't care. So it's going to go ahead and, and read it, and it's going to read it in black and white, which I don't want, and I just checked that. See? It's black and white. So now we're going to go to the window image trace menu again, and then we're going to go to color. Come on, color. We're going to go to color, and then we're, it's going to read it again, and it's going to be like, oh, you want color? Okay. Let me give you color. And then it's going to take a while. It's initial pixel clustering. And it's going to go ahead and read it and be like, what's up, what's up, you know, and just kind of gather all the information. Um, and this is, a lot of people say, you know, work on shapes and then build them together. Um, you can do play, we're going to do both elements. I'm going to teach you how to do both elements, how to create a shape, transport it into Photoshop, and then color it in there. And I'm also going to teach you how to just add color to an already existing shape that it's inside and the many different ways that you can do that so it's so we initial pixel it's a lot of colors and it's a lot of so that's why it's taking a while to read it and you know how's your day going are you excited about the day it's always good to be excited about the day i'm gonna dye my hair today i'm gonna dye it black i'm gonna dye my beard because <laughs> i'm sexy like that <laughs> So, um, what's really cool about um, Live Trace too is that before you couldn't play with a shape, but now you can actually pull these, like you can pull these edges and these little corners right in here of the star. This is supposed to be the sun. This is metal. This is heat. This is rainbow. This is plastic. So I can play around with the shapes if I wanted to. I will not because I don't need to. So. You've got that, and it's still clustering. It's still going through the whole process, and um, you know, but it's it's adding the information and seeing what's up. Now, your other, your others, you've got, uh, it. I put it up to thirty colors, and then color tracing result custom, um, just to see what happens. Just something basic, nothing too crazy. Um, so you've got that. I'm trying to fill time with my talking, you know. Because it's sexy. <laughs> it's not. Um, but uh, this is a really great tool. You can, and I'll show you in other episodes. Just a whole, you can go crazy with live trace. You can take other objects and you can play around with them and you can transport it um, in order to be able to play around with the lines and whatnot. Um, specifically now with Google that has um, image trace, like uh, live trace drawings. You can definitely play around with it. So it's now it's it's done what it needed to do. Now it's spinning the curves, like the curves are like like this stuff. Okay, so you so it's done. Now you think to yourself, well, I'm gonna be able to move it. No, not yet. What you want to do is you want to did it trace it? I think it did. Okay. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to um go to object. Uh, wait. Why didn't I trace it? Oh yeah, and it still needs to trace it because that was just a preview. 
So it's it's gonna trace it, and I think it did. And then we're gonna go to Object Expand. So it's gonna expand everything. So it's gonna expand. It's gonna sh like just show you all the dots and all the things that are in there. And then Object Ungroup because they're all grouped together. And then Object Ungroup again. And let's see one more time. Nope. Okay. So now, if you see, I can click on each individual shape. And I can go in here and I can, I don't like that. So I can delete that, but it deleted the color. So let's see, can I delete the lines? I think I can. And then it's still, the path is in there and I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So then I can make the selection and delete all of it. I can make the selection and I can delete all of it. And now what I can do with this shape is I can select it with my black arrow and I can shrink it. I can, if I want to shrink it unilaterally, I can shift close and there you go and you make it smaller now if you want to delete all of these black arrow because they're all individual shapes now because I object ungrouped it and expanded it so I deleted that so then I go here and then I shrink it shrink it and then I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it let's minimize this um, and then you can all, your window menu is really powerful so you see what I'm getting at? You can delete all of these, all my swatches. I do not need anymore because I already know what they look like. But let's see. Now, look at this, okay? Interestingly enough, since I transferred it over, it sh changed the shapes. So if you really look, if you really zoom in, the shapes are going to be different. Specifically in this diamond thing, in this uh, gemstone thing. Let's see anything else that's different. I think for the most part, they should all be the same. But that's pretty much it. Maybe the maybe the leaves on the flower might be a little weird. See? Right here, look at that. It created this interesting little shapes going on over here. Now what I could do is I could just take this and I could just I could move it or I could, you know, alt oh if you want to make a copy of it, you hold alt. And this is all for Microsoft, by the way. If you have Mac, sorry. Sorry. Um, I know a Mac. <laughs> and then you just shift it and then you just go like that and you make a copy of it. You just hold it, you click on it, alt, move away. Click on it, alt, move away. And then you're making more copies of it. And you can, can you make more than two copies? Of course. You can select both of them and then you can go, <gasps> ta da! Two of them. So that's how you, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep deleting all this stuff. Um, but play around with live trace and in the future I'm going to teach you how to make some other stuff. So thank you for watching and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful year. Follow Brit.